Dear students, welcome you all to the session 3 video of chapter Capital Structure, Financial Management, 5th semester BCom. In the previous session, we have seen the features of equity shares, merits and demerits. In this session, we will understand the meaning of leverage. Now, the term leverage means to use something that you already have in order to achieve something new or better. We'll see how a lever works. Now, a lever works by reducing the amount of force needed to move an object or lift a load. You can see in this picture, the person use, using a lever and he is trying to lift an object. Imagine if he is not using this lever, he has to exert more pressure in order to move the object. So we can see that he is using a lever, so he need to exert less pressure in order to move the particular object. That means he can reduce the effort. That is for a small effort, the result will be more. Now, the leverage in financial management, we classify it into three types, that is operating leverage, financial leverage and combined leverage, which is a combination of operating and financial leverage. In this session, we will see the concept of operating leverage. To start with, we will see a statement of income and we will see how the EBIT, EBT as well as surplus profits are determined. We begin with sales. From the sales, we deduct the variable cost and what we get is called as contribution. Sales less variable cost is equal to contribution. From contribution, we deduct the fixed cost we get the operating profit, it's also known as EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. From this, we deduct the interest on the debt securities, which I have already discussed. It is a compulsory payment to be made by the firm. When we deduct the interest, what we get is earnings before tax, EBT. Then we deduct the tax, we get earnings after tax. From this, we deduct the preference dividend, what we get is the surplus profit. So these are the earnings which are available to the equity shareholders. Now, how do we determine the earnings per share? That is, earning per share is equal to surplus profit divided by number of equity shares. That is, for one share, how much is the earnings? Now, I will explain the concept of leverage with the help of an example here. A firm sells products for 50 rupees per unit. The variable operating cost is 30 rupees per unit and the fixed operating cost is 5000 rupees per year. The current level of sales is 300 units and find out, determine the APIT. If the sales rises, that is increases to 350 units, if the sales decreases to 250 units. Now, we will prepare a statement of income and determine the EBIT. Now, the uh, EBIT, in first case, sales 15,000, that is 300 units into rupees 50, uh, less variable cost, which is 9,000, contribution is rupees 6,000, less fixed cost, 5,000, EBIT is equal to 1,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. When the sales increases to 350 units, the, uh, the sales amount, changes, it increases to 17,500, less variable cost, it also increases 10,500, contribution is 7,000, fixed cost remains the same, EBIT is rupees 2,000. We can see here, our original sales was 15,000 rupees, now it has become 17,500. There is 2,500 rupees increase in the sales. Now, what is the percentage increase? So, the increase amount is 2,500 divided by the original amount 15,000 into 100. It is equal to 16.667%. EBIT has also increased. Originally, it was 1,000. When the sales increased, it has become 2,000 rupees. So, what is the increase? 1,000 rupees has increased, 2,000 minus 1,000. What is the percentage increase in EPIT? Percentage increase is the increase amount 1,000 divided by the original EPIT 1,000 into 100, that is 100 percent. We can see here, for a small change in sales, 
that is 16.667 percent increase in sales the ebit has increased by 100 percent that is there is a double the increase in case of ebit so that is the concept of leverage that is uh, the ebit has increased more than proportionately it has happened because of the presence of fixed cost 5000 when the sales has increased variable cost has increased but fixed cost remains the same now we can calculate the operating leverage in this way contribution divided by ebit 6000 divided by 1000 six times which means there is six times increase in ebit due to a change in sales operating leverage is equal to percentage change in ebit divided by percentage change in sales to 100 uh, 100, uh, 100 divided by 16.67 six times it has increased now what is this concept of operating leverage so operating leverage uh, is defined as the firm's ability to use fixed operating cost to magnify the effect of changes of sales on its earnings before interest and taxes we have seen that our sales has increased by 16.667 percent the variable cost has also increased the fixed cost rupees 5000 remains the same because of this reason the ebit has increased by 100 percent that is for a small change in sales 16.67 percent change in sales ebit has increased more than proportionately so the ebit increase is not 16.67 percent it is six times of the increase isn't it what is that 100 percent so the fixed cost do not increase when there is increase in sales this results in higher operating profit or ebit now let us see the situation where the sales decreases so originally it was 300 units now it has become 250 units so the sales will be uh, 12,500 less variable cost variable cost also decreases it is 7,500 contribution is 5,000 fixed cost remains the same irrespective of the changes in sales it is 5,000 so operating profit is zero now let us see the percentage change percentage change in sales so it was 15,000 uh, it became 12,500 minus 2,500 divided by the original sales 15,000 minus 16.67 percent that is decrease in sales what is the percentage change in EBIT originally it was 1000 now it has become 0 minus 1000 divided by original amount 1000 into 100 100 percent 100 percent decrease in EBIT so we can see here for a small change or that is a decrease in sales there is more than proportionate change or decrease in the ebit so operating leverage is equal to contribution divided by ebit 6000 divided by 1000 six times now the operating leverage uh, it actually establishes the relationship between sales and the operating profit earnings before interest and taxes the relationship between sales and EBIT is expressed in terms of operating leverage and this relationship happens because of the presence of fixed cost now there is another aspect or important aspect to be understood that is there is a concept of operating risk what is this operating risk it is the risk of uh, not being able to cover the fixed operating cost suppose the sales decreases or uh, suppose there are no sales even then the firm will have to pay the fixed cost that is the risk it is a risk which company faces due to the level of fixed cost in the operations high operating leverage is uh, is good when the sales are increasing because firm will have benefit for a small change in sales ebit will increase more than proportionality but at the same time they are bad as well as risky when the revenues are uh, falling when the sales is decreasing and the operating leverage will really create a problem why because if the sales are decreasing the variable cost will also decrease but the fixed cost has to be paid by the firm this is the concept of operating leverage i hope you have understood 
uh, do ask me if you have any doubts thank you